farm programs are complex, but farmers had a pretty clear decision under the 2014 Farm Bill. Crop insurance agents say that may not be the case this sign up. You know, 99% of our producers chose our county last farm bill, and this time around, I think it's going to be a lot more individualized. FSA officials say Art County is still an option and so is price loss coverage with reference prices of $370 for corn, $840 for soybeans and $550 for wheat. Plus, there's a new program. Art County uses county yields times the nationwide price. Arc Individual uses that farm's yields. Uh, the PLC program, that's strictly price-based. Anytime the, the nationwide price for that year gets under the reference price, it starts kicking a payment. However, with a different market environment, farmers need to closely analyze their farm data to make a decision. Trying to go through every farm number, and that's really key as well. It's per farm number. It's not per operation or per crop. She says ARC Individual looks best for farmers with prevented plant. Being able to pick those farm numbers and select ARC Individual on those is probably going to make sense for some producers that are facing a lot of um, Ex excess precipitation. However, with ARC individual farmers must prove yields annually and the payout base is lower. ARC uh, County and PLC, they use 85% of your base acres. ARC individual uses 65% of your base acres. South Dakota Corn Growers President Doug Nome says a change farmers asked for is yields will be figured on RMA versus NAS data. We think it's more accurate to use RMA data. RMA data is, I mean, you. It's enforceable by law. He says FSA will have information to help make an election, but thinks there will be more from universities and private firms. In the 2014 Farm Bill, there's $100 million for that kind of stuff. In this, in in this new Farm Bill, there's $15 million. The sign-up deadline is March 15th.